chance to have you camp out on the blue with him? You know, it was really neat. We, we did it last year also, yeah. and it's, uh, the movie we saw was unbelievable. Kind of set the tone for the whole night, I think. And so it was a neat experience. Like I said, it got a little chilly at the end of the or early in the morning, but uh, I think everybody enjoyed it. And it just kind of brings you together closer as a team, and that's. That's what the movie reflected too, so I thought it all tied in real well. It looked like there was a, one picture I saw, people were cooking some oars, and there was a fire out there, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you know, we have our, what we call our unity groups, and there's a little competition there, so I hope they get uh, deducted really for having fire on the field. I don't I think that was illegal. <laughs> and then you surprised them, I guess, with the day off, right? What, what was that like? We did. Uh, I don't know if they liked it, but I liked it. I hadn't had many of those in the 37 years I've been in camp, I don't <laughs> think. My wife didn't know what to think when I came home. But it was great. Uh, we're halfway through, so it, it gives these guys an opportunity to kind of uh, get away from it for a day. I thought Coach was great. He told me, he said, get out here. I don't even want you thinking about football today. So, you know, we all need that every once in a while. So I think it was really a, a good good plan. And it, defensively, I thought we'd come back today after that day off and practiced well. Coaches got to go home too? Went home. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was, I had two naps yesterday <laughs> afternoon and enjoyed every bit of it. What was the movie you guys watched? It is a movie that hadn't come out yet, and it won't be out until October the 18th. I don't know if I can tell you legally or not. <laughs> so uh, I know 15 uh, in, between the NFL, college, and I think high school teams get to see it before it comes out on October the 18th. It's called Woodline. Okay. Um, you know, so halfway or so through. In trouble. <laughs> no, there were some tweets. Through, okay. through preseason practices, what, uh, you know, what have you gotten out of your D-line? What more do you still need to get out of them before the first game? You know, the big thing I want is to be fully healthy. Obviously, you know, we're in and out with a lot of guys. Uh, Nance coming back today was his first day to be in full pads and really go at it. And I thought he did a good job. And that's my whole goal is to uh, get them all back on the field together, completely healthy for September the 4th. So we get our rotation right. And uh, I think today was our best day. I'm anxious to watch the film. Sometimes I feel that on the field, and when I get back in there, it's not as good as what I thought it was. But I think today was our best day, and I think we will continue now that we're in just one a days from now on out. It will help our guys recover a little bit also. Obviously, very high expectations of this D-line considering the experience you have. What are your expectations for this well, group? Yeah, they're high also. I expect a lot out of them, and I tell them that every day. Uh, in fact, we, we choose a group of the day each day as a coaching staff. And the D-line hadn't won it yet this fall, so I've been uh, very disappointed in that. So that was our goal today, and I think we accomplished that. We'll see when we get up and watch the film again. But uh, we got high expectations. We know we're going to be good. It, it's going to be up to us. What, what are your expectations for tomorrow having the scrimmage with the fans finally getting the opportunity to see you guys out here on the blue? Well, again, we're going to have 99% of our guys back full, so we'll get a chance to get – more reps with some of the guys that hadn't got as many full reps this year. And so I'm looking forward to seeing that and see where they're at mentally and physically, to be honest with you. Then get some young guys in there and see if we're going to use any of those young guys uh, and who, the, who it's going to be. And just as much what i got to figure out when everybody is there, like you said, what is the rotation going to be? That's my whole – and I don't know yet, so we got to figure that out. Your top eight still kind of, you know, Gabe and Kamala and yeah. Tyler and you know, Sam. Gabe hasn't got to do a lot yet. We're still, uh, he's still, he's not had the live reps. He got in pass rush today, but he's going to be fine by the time we get there. Uh, I think this week he will get more and more, but yes, the top eight is the way we started. Is Deuce and the starter at Tackle right now? Don't know yet. Uh, he's played uh, today. He went some with both groups. He went with the blue group and the orange group. He, it'll be between he, Elliot, and Antoine. I mean, there's three good players right there that, and they're going to all play. And I've told you guys before, when we've been our best is when we had, you know, eight guys especially that you couldn't tell a lot of difference with when they came out there. And that's what I'm looking forward to this fall. Probably not any way to tell on the uh, on the other tackle position because you have another man out there. In terms right. Of you know, today he was out there, and uh, I thought he had a good day. He's bad out of shape now, <laughs> and he knows it. He didn't run to the ball very well. So he, he told me right after practice, he said, you're going to be really mad. I didn't run to the wall, but you know it was great to have him back there, and uh, probably got 15 live reps today out of him, and so I'm anxious to watch him. But, but you get him, JT, uh, Robert Ash, Debo, four pretty good nose guards. You know, 
Our guys have to swing both ways anyway as far as the tackle and the nose guard. you got to be able to play both. And so that's going to uh, be a big asset to us, too. If we had to, we could always move anybody back into Antoine or Deuce or whatever we needed to do. Beyond those top eight, who, who else have you seen flashes of that you think you're going to get contributions from this year? Well, I think Derek Bowes, like I said, is playing real well. I think uh, you know, we're seeing more and more flashes out of uh, uh, Jabril Frazier. I think you've seen a lot out of him actually this fall, you know, with because of uh, Gabe not getting as many reps yet. And then uh, David Moa, he's he's got something special to him. So there's at least eleven or twelve of those guys right there that I feel comfortable with. Where's Moa playing? Which he's spot? playing the three technique, the tackle. Um, and then uh, uh, didn't mention McNair at all. Is he? Yeah, kind of Rondell. Yeah, he's. I think he's had a good fall. He's come a long ways. You know, each one of them, like I said, we got, uh, I look like something I do. Uh, each one of them is going to have the role, and we just got to get it all worked out when, we all, when we're all 100%.